This white winter wonderland is in danger. The rocks seen under the snow are new to Antarctica's landscape. Ten years ago, they were still completely hidden under a thick layer of ice. That was before global warming interceded and the glacier began to melt. I've been coming here for the past 15 years, and even during that kind of time scale, you can see the changes that global warming brings about. You can see rocks on the Collins glaciers or the Bellingshausen dome that you couldn't see five or ten years ago, and that is direct proof of the shrinking of the glacier and the loss of mass. At this Chilean scientific base, tens of scientists measure the effects of global warming on the local flora and fauna. Here, the increasing temperature of the water has provoked a growth in the number of green algae, and scientists study how crustaceans adapt their behaviour accordingly. Even though they are so small, the algae, both macro and micro, are very important in keeping the balance of the food chain, as they provide nutrition to the rest of the ecosystem. We know that the number of species in an ecosystem is really important for it to remain healthy. The investigation may also help other regions on the planet to prepare for the consequences of global warming. With these small greenhouses, Marisol Pizarro studies how Antarctica's plants respond to an artificial temperature increase of 1 or 2 degrees Celsius. Her report shows that the moss resists well to the new conditions, an advantage which, thanks to DNA manipulation, may serve other vegetation in the future. We can transfer a gene related to drought tolerance to a common plant, like lettuce or rice, and that plant will have the ability to tolerate droughts and won't be as affected by adverse conditions when there is less water in its environment. The planet's temperature has already increased by one degree, and Antarctica is one of the world's regions that is warming up most rapidly. It is therefore a race against time for these scientists from across the world who work on this icy cold continent.